Hello, viewer, and welcome back to Games with Dialogue. This is episode 14 of my Chained Echoes playthrough. Just a heads up, the holiday, winter, Christmas break is over for me. I'll be going back to work at my normal hours. So, the consistent releasing of these episodes will slow down. Uh, turn into just the normal releasing schedule that I had. Well, normal in air quotes, uh, whenever I could find time. But that does mean Gloomhaven, RPG Maker, and maybe even Potionomics will be coming back. Uh, with that said, let's dive in. Oh, so you're the new girl, HO3, right? Pleased to meet you. Oh, these are all maidens. All of them are maidens. Ah, who cares? I've heard you're coming to our class, is that true? How old are you? Ah, sorry. You just arrived and I'm bombarding you with questions without a break. We'll talk later, okay? Oh, there are dudes here. Well, well, well. The heroes of Lenar are currently on a crusade against some sort of cult of the Harbinger. They'll be here soon to welcome you. Hmm, you're pretty old. Looks like they took their time to find your location. Normally, the girls arrive at the age of ten. Well, that's not... That's not, uh... Concerning at all. In all quarters, you'll find paintings with this motif. From an artist's perspective, it's very interesting to see the approach various artists from other eras have used to depict the same motif in their work. May I introduce myself? I'm the head of the scriptures. I command a hundred monks who have now been writing the true history for decades now. Rest assured, the Harbinger will be kept in everyone's memories. Oh, 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 that sucks. That sucks, you poor, poor man. Oh, it's you! Nice to meet you! May I ask you if you can remember? Ah, uh, well, forget it. I shouldn't ask you this. I'm just a normal maiden. I shouldn't even be talking to you. Marcus has found three other girls. We're currently at 11. I think there was once a hundred of you. Oh, oh. Maybe I should have gone the other way first. <clears throat> Timothy. Well, has the sight already burned itself into your mind? What do you mean, sir? <clears throat> there are paintings all over the castle with the same motif, as you've no doubt noticed. Yes, a building under a giant tree on an island in the sky. Unmistakably the same place. Uh, you'll find this place depicted in some form or another in every corner of the castle. And you'll probably make several trips there in person. And all this, just so you won't forget the place. So that I don't forget it? No matter how many centuries pass, no matter how many times you are reborn, this sanctuary on Shambhala shall be a guiding light in your memories. It's a place designed to last for millennia. What's there? Well, you will find all kinds of tools for your mission there, and you can make contact with the vein. <laughs> oh, very confusing, isn't it? Don't worry, HO3. You'll understand everything, little by little. May I ask, to whom am I speaking with? Oh, sorry, how rude of me. I'm Timothy. I'm being trained as a teacher for the Le Leonarch Covenant. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask. First, I have a question of my own. What's your real name? Something wrong? No, it's just... I haven't been asked that in a long time. My name is Len. Len, huh? Well, here's to a good collaboration. That dream again. Was it my echo from a past life? Timothy, it feels so familiar. You're awake, Len? Well, we're almost there. Hopefully Sir Victor is right and we're able to find him. I wonder if he'll even join us. Eh, it's been three months since the blast. I'm sure Glenn has made a decision. 
Well, we'll see. So Glenn ran off for three months, huh? Haku? Everybody get... Uh, I don't want to do that. Everybody get ready to land. It might get bumpy. All right, so now we just need a few groceries. Peter and Huri want to eat pancakes, so I guess I have to buy some wheat. Leo wants some fruits. Might as well grab some ban bonanzas. Or does he prefer dapples? I've had enough, Glenn. Can I go back? Huh? Sure, I do to accompany me to go shopping. I know, but it's boring. Please, I know the way back. Well, you're a big boy, so I guess you can return on your own. Later. All right, so I need to pay the shop a visit. What the heck is going on? Three months later, buy some groceries. What? Where the heck are we? Flandern. Oh, this is in the mountains. All right, it's in the mountains, sure. Mm, just looking around, that's the wrong way. Oh, fine be that way. Hello. It's too much for me. Warren Volandis is over, but a new one has broken out. This can't go on. Nope. Oh, there's stairs there. I didn't miss those. Nope. Lord Gustav once revolted against King Valheim III. There was a fierce battle and Lord Gustav lost. The king showed mercy and let him live. However, the tributes were increased, and his son Rob was sent to court at the king's ward as the king's ward. Yes, we know this. Okay, so I just have to walk across the street and buy groceries. Of course, I don't want to do that. Why would I do that? Still lucky in our misfortune. As traitors, we in Flandern are not dependent on the young people who had to join the king's army. Rock Bottom, with its mines, and Basil, with its field work, have been hit much harder. They simply need the strength of the youth. Youth. Youths. So I could go this way, maybe? No, Glenn doesn't want to go that way. That's fine. Since a few months ago, the adults somehow look much more serious than before. Is it because my brother left? Mom says he had to join the King's army. What does that mean? Ah, child, it means you'll never see your brother again. And if you do, he won't be the same. You look hungry. Here, have a meal. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you. You just saved me a thousand gold? Monies? I forget what they call it here. In Volandis, he who rules the mountains rules the gold. This is not only because Volandis is rich in raw materials, but also because all trade routes lead through here. Hmm. Hmm. I keep expecting to run into, like, a another vegetable man. Blandern is the wealthiest village in Kortara, and Lord Gustav is the most powerful man. He is called the Giant of this Mountain, or Giant of the Mountain. When he was younger, he crushed all his op opponents, opposition, I was going to say, with his array of huge weaponry. So let's recruit him, then. Oh, but you're okay going out here? You don't want to leave, but you're okay walking out this way, huh? Whatever. Pick that up. Pick that up. What else? Maybe we'll find something buried? I thought I was... Not for sure I'd been over here before. It's not. Ah, there we are. You're too late. Next time, try to be faster than me, sucker. BB. P.S. Yes, I took the time to rebuild the stone pile in front of the entrance in order to further crush your expectations. Hmm. Is that... Does that mean that... Oh. Does that mean that there were places around here I could have gotten to that he stole 
if I go back to other areas that I could have gotten to earlier, they're going to be missing. Is that what that means? Blueprint. Machine killer. And what was the other thing? Not oh, raincoat. Uh, triggers it. No, that's not it. What was it? Yeah, that might have been it. Festival. That's it. That's it. Dark resistance. All right. Okay, well, I opened up another cave, which should help with the board. Actually, does it did it, does it help with the board? What's this? Find three caves, right? It did. Fantastic. It's not great because I didn't get anything out of it, but something. Okay. We might as well go in the direction I'm supposed to go now. Sure. Whatever. Uh, yeah, I can't go that way. And I probably can't go this way? Yeah, alright, alright. Landon leaves on trading goods between the three countries. But if no one trades, we can't collect custom duties, uh, customs duties, and so we won't even earn a single arc. Arcs, that's what they're called. King just can't raise all the taxes. At least he should have spared us Terranians. Lord Gustav and our sons fought bravely for him. Well, that's what you get, I guess, for backing a king who was all, hey, we're just gonna go to war. No big deal. Here you go. Thank you for shopping with us. Thanks. Okay, now back to the children. Just pointless busy work at this point. Who is this boy? I haven't seen him before. That kid appeared here three months ago. Almost starved to death, but declined any offer of food. I bet he's another victim of this war. Probably. Anyway, he's living now in the abandoned mansion in the west. In that spooky place? All alone? Supposedly not alone. He told Parkus that he's taking care of some orphans there. Oh, is he now? Interesting. Alright, well. I wanted to look around in here a little more. Luckily, Flandern is pretty wealthy, so our shelves are nicely filled. How long is that gonna last? Okay, there's nothing I can take for free. All the way over there, huh? Well, at least I can go this way now. Um, but now I'm lost. Can I go in here? No. Old man doesn't want to talk to me. That's fine. Bit spooky. I haven't seen any buried treasure markers. So far, no buried treasure markers. It's been three months now since I arrived. Are we doing a... We're doing a flashback. I have to assume. An abandoned mansion. A good place to die as any other... Well... What do you say it like that? Let's try it again. Let's try that take again. An abandoned mansion. As good a place to die as any other. Another nightmare. So like my body needs food, huh? I don't think there's anything here. I should just starve to death. There's no meaning to my life anyway. Please help us. Oh, no, it's the little kids. Please help us. Children? Do you have something to drink? What are you kids doing in a place like this? We're hungry. We're lonely. There's no one to take care of us. You're like 15. Can you take care of us? Me? I don't think I can be of any help. Then we'll die just like the others. I don't want to die. 
Maybe. Maybe. Maybe there's some canned food here. Um, yeah, okay. Talk to the little kids. Stop it! Get off the swing! No, it's my turn. Then he's been on the swing for a hundred hours. That's not true, it was just five minutes. Liar! There's no way he's been on it for a hundred hours. Get off, you need to share. You should ask more politely. Fine. Would you kindly let me on the swing? How are you two even able to tell time? There's no way you know it's five minutes. Kids. Did you get what I wanted? I don't remember. How am I... He... Glenn said it for all of, like, one line. Oh, my God. <sighs> da, 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 da. Bonanzas? Oh, well, okay. It doesn't matter. There. I got you what you wanted. Are you crying? You all made fun of me for being smaller. Do you think I will grow tall? Pfft, maybe. Only maybe. Well, there's some cool things you can do by being small. For example... Well, you could be a Sky Armor pilot. Because of their size... Uh, because of their size and to save energy, only people of a certain height are allowed to... are being drafted. And then he shouts this. You think I can be a Sky Armor pilot? Sure. I don't have the energy in the, or the enthusiasm to mimic a child. Should I go upstairs? Eh, uh, no. That's fine. Did you know that the whole continent of Galtina was overrun by a gi ginormous, ginormous fungus? And all the people had to flee? Can't imagine seeing such a huge mushroom. You think it's as tall as Valandis' fall fa 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 tree? Oh. Okay. I find it odd that the kids wouldn't have raided this place already, but, you know. More for me. How long are you- How long are you going to keep this up, Glenn? You again. Are they the solution to your problem? These kids? Do you think this is going to make up for anything? No. I know it's not the solution, but it's the only thing I can do right now. That's not true. You could... Shut up! Why should I listen to you? You don't even tell me who you are, or what you want, or why I'm able to hear your voice. Maybe I'm just starting to go crazy. That must be it. I'm, I'm just tired. Running away from your problems doesn't solve anything, Glenn. A new day. Can I really stay here any longer? Are you gonna really just let all those people you killed die for nothing, or are you gonna make their deaths matter, Glenn? I finally found you! Oh, it's Victor. I finally found you! Sir Victor. So this is where you spent the last three months. Pretty lonely place. How are you doing? I'm okay, I guess. Compared to where I was three months ago. Tell me, why are you here? Just visiting an old friend. Ah, oh, forget it. Truth be told, I'm here because our battle isn't over yet and we need you, Glenn. Jan will not stop using the grimoire against humanity. Len, Rob, Bathras, even Sienna. are still on our side. We're not done with our mission yet, so come with me. What is a good from nothing like me going to be able to do for you? Ah, uh, you've seen- I've seen your fighting skills in a sky armor. You defeated your opponents effortlessly. And you must have also seen me destroy an entire swath of land as well. Well, yes. I did see that, but... I did- it was terrible indeed, but... Do you want to hide here for the rest of your life? Your life? Are you going to keep running away from the truth? Running away from the tooth. Eh. Uh, truth. No. I've been thinking for the last three months, and I've come to a concussion. Ah. Uh, conclusion. 
You know, when the grimoire first exploded by my sword, I wasn't to blame. Since I wasn't, I was able to hide in a hut for a year, try to push the images out of my head. I didn't owe it to anyone to do anything. Now, the situation's different. I can't deny the guilt, and it weighs heavy on me. I'd love to pay for my mistake with my life, but that's not possible. My life doesn't belong to me anymore, it belongs to the deceased. So does that mean... Even though I would like to hide from the world, I can't do that. I have to go out and help the people. I owe it to those that I killed. Then you'll come with me? Not sure. I want to do good, but I'm not sure your path is the right way. We can stop a weapon of mass destruction! You can't do any better than that to help the people! I know, but... I'm afraid of making another mistake. I can't carry any more weight. But you're not carrying the burden alone, Glenn. Back then, we all made the decision to steal the Grimoire together. We are all to blame for what happened, and that's why we have to make it right. Together. Come with us! Ah, <sighs> so fate is giving me another chance, huh? Could you give me a minute? Sure thing. I'll wait outside. Hey, kids! Papa Glenn's gonna go slay some monsters! I might never come back. You're gonna have to fend for yourselves. You need me, but you're not even real. Well, that's weird. That's creepy. Are they ghosts? That's a lie! You're nothing but an illusion of my mind. If I stay here any longer, I'll only go crazier. Look at me! I'm either talking to ghosts or a voice inside my head. Do you? No, it's the other around, way around, isn't it? You don't need me. I need you. You're the lie I live with here. Because of you, we're alone. It's your fault. You killed the... Oh, I see. These are... Okay. The voices of his conscience. Back then, after the disaster, I needed something to take the burden off of me. I needed a way to earn the forgiveness of the dead. I needed you. But now, Sir Victor has given me the opportunity to make a difference. You can't get rid of us. We'll come after you. No matter where you go, we will remind you of your crime every step of the way. gone. Reasonable decision. Well, I've still got you, I guess. Here, have some chocolate. Thank you, mister. Sir Victor. Ah, Glenn, there you are. You, 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 you could see the child? Huh? Oh. Where'd he go? Well, I can't see him anymore. <laughs> Kids these days. But how? Glenn? Sir Victor, I've made my decision. I'm gonna come with you. I... I want to face the truth. Excellent, Glenn. The first step is the hardest. You should be proud of yourself. We will stop the Grand Grimoire together. That's... That's... X200 and zero... Or 200 O. Sky Armors. Models Paris, Merlin, Am Agamemnon, and Ovelia. Are they yours? <laughs> yes, it wasn't cheap, but I knew you'd be happy. Sir Victor didn't spare any effort. He was sure they would persuade you to come with us. Sienna? You're really helping Sir Victor? She sought me out of her own accord and offered to help. Can you believe that? <laughs> Am I not generous? 
I offer my airship and myself as a capable fighter and pilot to our cause. Isn't that a great deal? Most surprisingly, she didn't want anything in return. Sure, sure, just laugh at my generosity. I'll get my paycheck somehow, old man. Worst case, you'll have our gratitude. Wonderful. I wonder what shops I'll be able to spend this gratitude of yours at. Let's not dawdle. The Himmel's Kaiser's not safely parked. Bathras, so you're still supporting us too? We have a contract to abide by, don't we, Victor? That's right. He dances to my tune, and you know I'm a pretty musical kind of guy. <laughs> Get in the sky armors! The Himmel Skyzer's parked atop Mount Rydell, beyond Terran's watching eyes. We'll use the airship to pay a visit to Lady Bran in New Wernshire. We need a bit of help from her for our venture. I'll explain it to you in detail later, Glenn. Let's go! So here I go on another adventure. I hope it's the right decision. Better than doing nothing. Can I save? Yep. Once inside a sky armor, you can press RB again to fly up into the sky. You can press LB to descend. When switching back from fly to hover mode, some internal parts of the sky armors are exposed, making them vulnerable. Because of this, you cannot land directly on enemies in high grass that would entangle into the gear or on water. However, once already in hover mode, you can hover over water. Okay, good to know. All right, let's save. Let's save. It's been a while. All right, let's take a look at the sky armors here. Proficiencies. Glenn's using greatsword, bow gun, hammer, support drones, elemental cannon, of course. Sword and shield. Uh, glaive and ether cannon. Okay. And they've got their own colors too. That's cool. How do I how do I set that up? Uh, the the different frame, the different weapons. Do I have any extra weapons? No. Skills? No. And color palettes. Oh. Okay. Midas. Adam, oh, I kind of like that one. Uh, White Knight, Vanta Black. I really like that one. But I think we'll work our way up to that. Whatever, maybe we'll give that to uh, somebody else on the team. Uh, all right, yeah, let's just go. How do you need anything? All right. Well, then it's time to. Make use of the sky armor, I guess. Wait. How did I... What did it tell me? Ah, right. Okay. So, right is... Lift off. And left is descend and... Disengage. Perfect. Let's test it out. Uh... Charge? Charge? Okay. That's literally all her gun does, is charge. Okay. Uh, magical attack. Single blow. Let's, uh... Go to gear two for him. We could heal or lower the defense of... Yeah, let's do this guy. And then poison. Okay, let's activate gear two and then hit everybody. Okay, we're back to Beth Bathraz. And then well, we'll keep him in gear one while we poison enemies. <laughs> and I think he can stay in gear one, too, while we heal everybody. Oh, 
Okay, well... Poison should take care of this guy. Ah, whatever. Uh, do I want to... Yeah, we'll just hit him. Whatever, we'll just hit him. It's fine. 10 SP for that. Woo! And we can't ride in... Okay, yeah, it's disabled while we're in here. That's fine. Yep. What are you? I can steal. They're weak to light. All right. Uh, weak to light, so Claymore then, both of them. Then we break. Hmm. Eh, let's buff everybody. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Armor break. Which one? This one. And then I get to go again, huh? Raise agility. Sure. Play more? Maybe we should heal? Nah, we don't need to heal. We do need to not overheat, though. That would be helpful. Alright, let's... Let's use this instead of trying to get Battle... Oh, well, never mind. I Battle Storm is active. Uh, Lend Energy? I think we're just wasting time now. Okay, maybe we want to heal. What can I do here? Here's all status ailments. Yeah, we'll just pedal storm. Sure. Just pedal storm. They're almost dead. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. How much damage does he do? Yeah, it's terrible. That's why we don't use him to make attacks. Remember, you can't land in high grass, near enemies, and on water. So I can't land... So I could land here. No? Oh, I'm pushing the wrong button. Again. It's fine. It's fine. I'll have to learn. Poison salvo. Defensive break. Let's go into second gear for him. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Ugh. I don't think I can... She's down. Absolutely, she's down. Okay, come on, poison. Do your work. Scale armor. Is that worse? No. It's just... It's just straight up better. Unbelievable. Okay. Well. I'm glad I didn't spend money upgrading the chain armor. Uh, how am I gonna do this? Ah, right here. Okay. Oh, uh, defense break. Charge. Uh, 
a poison salvo. Second gear, fire shot. Oh, she needs to be healed. Second gear, leg sweep. Yikes. I don't think that'll save her if she gets targeted again, but... Maybe she, if she gets hit by one guy. Uh, I don't think I need to... Yeah, I didn't need to go second gear for that. Um, am I able to... I can. Alright, what's up here? Robust coat. Yeah, okay. I lose some TP. But I gain a lot of HP, which is what I really need for her. Okay. And I just realized... My... my mouse butt cursor is all the way over there. Alright. Len! Rob! Are you alright? What are you doing here? You were supposed to wait at the Himmel Skyzer. There you are. Well, if Sienna hadn't parked on top of the nest of a Cortar Condor, we would have. We had to flee when the Condor returned. Haku stayed behind. Haku? Glenn? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Who would have guessed it? I knew it from the very beginning. I knew you wouldn't let us down. Is that how you see me? What are you saying? We know your heart's in the right place. After everything that's happened? After everything that's happened, enunciate. Bah! Listen! We all made the decision together three months ago, so get over yourself. You probably think you can take on all the blame, but we have our share of this, too. We carry the guilt. Together. Thank you. I don't need any thanks. <laughs> well then, let's not leave Haku alone with the Kurtara Condor for too long. He'll end up killing it, and we know how endangered that bird is. Gather on a new adventure, shall we, Glenn? Y uh, sure, yeah. Oh boy. Oh jeez, she's stuck into me. What is this feeling? Is it... I remember it from a long time ago. I felt the same when I was accepted into the band of the Iron Bull. Yes, that's it. It feels... good to have comrades again. Uh, so are they on the team now? You can hover over water on the same ground level. Thank you. Uh, they are. Do they have their own sky armor? Uh, not that I can see. That's fine. Where do I want them, though? Victor's, Vic Victor's on his own. Bathraz. I'm gonna put Rob here, I think. And then... No. I'm going to put Len and Sienna in the same row. And then Rob can be with Glenn. Because once Glenn does what I need him to do, he swaps out for Rob. What I need Rob to do. Okay. Why can't I... Do I actually have to go up? Oh my god. Okay. Spatha! Wait, is that a one-handed or a two-handed? Okay. It's an upgrade. I'm not gonna... 
Look, you have Taurus in the mouth? Well, I will. Not this time. Uh, Nothing else. Oh, whoop. I see that. There's no way for me to... Oh, it's a one-way jump. Look, you can see... Oh, that's... Well, where am I going to go then? I... I can't land there. How do I... Maybe it's only a one-way jump. Oh, I can go across water. She just told me that. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. She just did. Completely forgot about it. Uh, charge. We'll just do this again. Only there's three of them this time. I see that. Yeah, let's go wild hog on this. And we'll heal. And then we'll gear two. Poison salvo the other one. Okay, all right. Don't do that again, please. Let's finish off the one at a time. With three of them, it's a lot more dangerous. Um, I think I'm just gonna leg sweep. And then... Yeah, I didn't want to go into overheat mode with this, so... Really pointless, I think. To sucking gear and poison, but I also want to stay out of the red. We'll just repair all. Keep Sienna alive a little bit longer. Finish that off. They really don't like her, do they? Did I repair all again, or just hit him? I think just hit him. Let Glenn finish him off. Okay. There's a... Well, if I go here first, what's up here? Ancient Skull. Is this the same? Yeah, I was just avoiding a fight with them. Which I don't think I want to do. Is this way out? It is. I think I want to get into a fight with them just for the SP. Yeah, plus... A what is this thing? Scotty element? And then... Boost my damage. Let's use... Let's use my ultra move. Okay. I had foolishly hoped that that would finish him off. I need to heal. I need to heal. Oh, he comes after the Scotty. Mm. Well, it should be dead here. Hopefully. Okay. Let's Yoko it then. Hopefully that'll finish it off. Okay. Then we can heal. All right. 
Knight. Probably switch. Um, he's strong against water, but I can do... I can basically do whatever then. Probably just heal again. And then light... Light Claymore again. Probably fire jump again. I was gonna maybe switch back to Sienna, but I don't want to risk her. I don't want to risk it. Okay. Skill level up. We'll look at that in a bit. I don't think I have any skills that need to be replaced. Okay. I definitely want to go in there, but, oh, hmm, oh, well, never mind then, there is absolutely a right way to go. Second, like we have to do it again. All right, we know what we're doing. And then light sword, maybe. I wonder what the difference between. I wonder what the difference between claymore and sword is. I mean, one hits a group and one hits one enemy, but when I use summon summon weapon attack does it does it do more damage if I use the claymore a bunch of times I don't know let's see let's buff everybody definitely heal So if I use Summon Attack, does it do more damage if I've used the Claymore? I don't know. Now let's just keep using this. Okay. That's useful. Thank you. And then we'll swap you, because you're done. And then probably summon attack, I think. Okay. Those targets attack. We'll hit this one with that. Although I think... Well, it broke the magic. So, never mind. I was going to say, I think it only works on physical attacks. But it also broke magic, so what do I know? And then... I don't think it matters now. Cool. 
Another skill level. I'm going to save again. Okay. Let me look around with flying before I make any commitments. Aha! Look at that! Unless was Oh, I was supposed to... Right, this leads me back... Yeah, it's right there. Okay, well, that's fine. Attack Gorgit. Hmm? What is this? Reduces cost of skills. I want to keep that. Heals can crit. Attack. It's right there. Hmm. So, I lose a bunch of crit. But I gain... Oh, it's attack magic. Maybe we want to give it to... Hmm. What are you using right now? Defense 2, resist, resist... Uh, let's give her this. Attack Gorgit. Oh, they're... Hmm. Okay. Well, get into a fight, I guess. And then... Gear 2. And then... Poison. Gear 2. Leg sweep. Hopefully finish off one of these guys. I think poison will do that for me, so we weren't going to worry about that. And I'm just going to hit him. Alright, where are we on the sky armor proficiencies? Level 3, counter mode. Stat ups are permanent. They stay with you when the weapon is changed. So I want to switch weapons, is basically... That's 20 attack. 20 defense. Attack. Magic. 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 Hmm. Well, except for changing the guns... I think I could swap out the weapons now, but what's next on the list here? Defense. Yeah, alright. We'll stick around. We'll stick around. More fighting. More fighting to get into there. We want to get up there. How do we get up there? Just across here. Okay. Oh, we have to... Oh. Well, how am I... How am I supposed to do that? We fight with them. Oh, I see. Is this right? I don't think this is right. I don't think that's accurate. Yeah. That doesn't seem... No. No. So... How do I... How do I do this? Interesting. Can I... I can. Okay. Alright. 
Not as bad as I thought. And the area that I can land is a lot smaller than I had originally thought. Um, I'm gonna just... I'm just gonna switch to Rob and poison everybody. I hope that's okay. We're just gonna heal all that away. Don't mind me. Oh, no, we wanna pandemic him. Man, I miss Killian and his uh, multi group armor break already. And a single target heal. That was fantastic. Hey, let's use this again. Heal all. Maybe it's time to switch. Sure. We want to get rid of that, uh... Well, let's ultra move. Sure. Okay, now what? Paralyze? Oh, I don't need to do... Well, maybe paralyze this. It hurts. Uh, but... Uh, wait a minute, you were paralyzed! That doesn't count, that's cheating. Okay, I'm curious. I don't think it does, but I'm curious. Yeah, it doesn't show... Nothing here shows up on the board. Oh, wait. We want to... There we go. I think we just focus on one and get rid of it. Instead of spreading things around. Counters physical single target attack. Inflicts blind. Uh, let's... Yeah, let's blind one of them. Charge. I think a heal is in order. Okay. Gear two, leg sweep. Gear two. I should have gear two fire shot the first time. Okay. I want to stay out of the red, so I guess we'll gear two this. Roz and Sienna get wrecked. Ah, uh, fire shot. I do need to get rid of... Yeah, I do need to get rid of one of them. Uh, he's poisoned, so we'll hit him. And then repair all, of course. Yeah, I think a leg sweep should take care of this. No? No? Hmm. Yeah, well, we'll just use this then. Okay. Uh, let me in. Come on, out of all... Out of all of these caves, you're the only one that will let me in? It's probably because there's... Story on the other side of that. I'm betting. Man, it just keeps going, doesn't it? How much longer... Alright, well... We'll just keep going, then. This is starting to become old hat anyways. I know what I'm doing.
Let's Yoko. Uh, I could... Nah, let's not bother with that. Okay. Almost dead, almost dead. Okay, this should take care of both of the devils. And then a heal. Should keep us out of the danger zone. Alright. I'm gonna switch. Oh yeah, the condor's around here somewhere. Over there, look! Looks like Haku needs our help. Okay, but what's... Ah, there's the condor. Hmm. Can I... I cannot land on the ship. Okay. Alright. Well, we're gonna get into this fight... And then we're going to end the episode, I think. Oh, but I can't steal from this thing. Oh, that's a shame. Is it... It is weak. Okay, let's second gear. And then... Let's poison. On a boss fight, that does a lot of work, so... We want to get that out. For sure, for sure. Definitely want to heal. Do I want to counter? I guess. I guess. And his enemy is preparing a strong attack. Being in gear zero and defending is our best option. Okay. Sure, but I literally can't get to gear zero from here. Unless I can... Yeah, I can only change gear once. So... I guess that's what I'm doing then. I will defend with him, though. And then Glenn's in the same boat, huh? Might as well, then. Oh yeah, that was a lot of damage. Oh no. Do I have anything that'll get him back up? Restore, make a sky armor functional again, yeah. Repair all. And then, restores a little amount of HP, I guess. He needed it. Oh, he's going to need it? Sure. He's going to need it again now. And I probably have to activate counter mode again. Let's actually blind him. Okay.
Yeah, we can do it again. Extend the duration. I need to heal. But I also need... Ah, forget it. We'll heal. I think we'll charge again. Who's not going to live through this? Um, I don't think Pathras is going to live through this if he gets hit by that. Okay, good. Good. He lived. That's something. Uh, what are we on? Victor? We're hoping he gets his... Hmm. Sure. Oh, fantastic. Okay. That wasn't so difficult. You, how could you leave me behind? Thought you were hiding safely inside the ship. What good would that have done? Condor would have sucked me out like a Mirandian snail dish. Well, Glenn, I'd like you to meet Haku, my only crew member. That's a bit of an understatement. I'm the captain, first mate, and helmsman of this ship. All at the same time. Always glad to hear I have a talented young man such as yourself at my side. All right, now jump on the ship before the Condor reappears. This is the Himmelskaiser, your airship. Yep, something wrong with her. No, it's... Just, I expected something more. Majestic with such a name. True, this thing is more of an airboat. Airboat? Ah, uh, I didn't mean to be disrespectful. Harm's done! Let's get going. Job, Glenn. Now Haku is pissed. Hey, you were the one who called this rust bucket an airboat. I heard that. Your Highness has ordered we have raised taxes in all regions. This led to riots in Basil and five other villages, but we were able to stop them all at the same time. Oh, all in time. By executing every single peasant. Good work, General. Good work, General. Something the matter? If you'll allow me to speak frequently. Go ahead, General. In times such as these, any opinion is welcome here. Well, there's a growing resentment among the population. Even our own citizens are on the verge of revolting. Everyone thought the war was over after the battle against Escania, but now the circumstances are even worse than before. People have to pay higher taxes, but at the same time take in less because all the young people are being conscripted. Resistances keep appearing, and we have to make examples of them. Your Highness, for many years we've dreamed of seeing our flags raised on the walls of Farnsport and Warrenshire. But now they are obscured by all the bodies we're hanging. Hmm. As your advisor, I have to ask this question, Your High Majesty. Your Highness. Your Majesty, is this austerity really necessary? Our army is strong enough, after all. We possess the Grand Grimoire. 
Moreover, in addition, General Good, General Godfrey, General Alina, and General Kenrick now command the powers of the Grimoire. They alone are as powerful as an entire army. Ooh. So all of them have been infused now. Well, maybe not Guston. So that's what you think, hmm? What about the rest? My prince, well, I... Well... I'm a bit confused, your highness. But it might be due to my age. I see. Generals, if you think we are at war against only Nabrelia, you are wrong. Escania and Gravos still hate us. Just because we are their new masters does not mean these dogs are going to eat out of our hands. We will not be able to negate their century-old hatred so easily, but we can prevent it from being manifested into violence against us. With their drained bodies, they can do nothing. Once their will is shattered, they will be begging for scraps at our tables as the dogs they are. I understand, Your Majesty. Furthermore, we only want to use the Grand Grimoire in an emergency. In the upcoming battle against Nabrelia, your newly obtained powers will have to suffice, generals. You don't plan to use the Grimoire. I beg you to reconsider. I've made my decision. Enough for today. I'm going to retire to my chambers. As you wish, Your Majesty. Dude. Dude, that haircut. Welcome back to New Wernshire, Sir Victor. And this guy. This time accompanied by a few more people. This gentleman is Lord Sander. He helps us reconst uh, he helps us restructure Wernshire as King Frederick wishes. Well, well, at last, uh, it's kind of more like well, well, at last we meet, Sir Victor. We missed each other last time. I am a great admirer of your plays. No one else manages to breathe so much life into such imaginative characters. The pleasure's all mine. I have devoured your play about the great master Bernhold several times, but say, did it all really happen like that, or was it simply a work of fiction? Many people ask this of me, however it remains a secret. Maybe I'll reveal it on my deathbed. On the deathbed of an era? Could take a while. This guy. Lord Sandbar! Or Sandar. Oh my god. <laughs> Lord Sandar, Bishop Zacchaeus wishes to speak with you. Of all times. I hope we get another chance to talk. I'll take my leave. Don't look at me. Don't look at me! Everybody wants to use Len as a hostage. Well then, Tan Spy is gone. I think I know what business you are here on, Sir Victor. My opinion hasn't changed since last time. But my offer is only expanded. Sir Victor, you want to destroy the Grand Grimoire and end Terran's reign of terror over Volandis, and I'm with you on that. King Frederick rules with a harsh hand. People are exhausted and starving. Resistance groups are springing up like mushrooms everywhere. And then being snuffed out. In the last two months, I have been visited several times by such groups. They ask for my support. My answer was always the same. It's useless. We have no chance. My army has been reduced to 50 men. And, only, and I only own three airships. I am a puppet of King Frederick. How are a dozen starving rebels supposed to change this situation? So, Sir Victor, tell me. Why should I give you any different of an answer than I gave to them? Because my offer is anything but starving rebels? Because I'm not asking you for men or weapons either. We need permission to fly under your flag and a place to base ourselves. That's all we want. Lady Bran... Our plan is to destroy the Grand Grinoir. Surely, we will need a troop to create a distraction in the palace while we advance for the stone. But we will recruit these men ourselves. And how will you do that? Even your personal wealth has its limits. 
and for reasons other than gold, no one will follow a writer such as you into battle. Allow me to interrupt, Lady Bran. There's even more to offer you. Wait. What, you? Princess Celestia Valkyria of Tern. I am at your service. The princess is fighting on your side? On our side. My brother must be stopped. You fear for your head? Let the princess be your aegis before King Red Frederick. Do you know what is better than one princess on our side? Two princesses! Surprise! What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? I am in contact with Princess Amalia. Oh, okay. That princess. I thought he had another princess in the group. I was like, Sienna? No. She leads a resistance group in Escania and wants to join us. Are you all serious? Furthermore, I have not only an airship to use for our cause, but also four sky armors. So, Victor, only you could manage to make me laugh in these sad times. You've actually managed to ignite a spark of hope in me. Now then, you may fly under my banner and bring me Princess Amalia. Perhaps your troop will be able to change things after all. I'll not fail you, my lady. General Tormen takes Sir Victor to Hermit's Isle. It will serve as a base for him. For Princess Celestia, I will have a guest room prepared. No need, Lady Bran. I'll move in with Glenn and Sir Victor. Hmm, you're putting yourselves in an unnecessary danger. I'd rather put myself than you in danger. If my brother finds out that I'm hiding in your castle, it may have terrible consequences for you. I see your point. Very well then, let the light of destiny show you the right way. Do not disappoint me. New fast travel location. A new base of operations. Is this going to be like a recruitment? Is this going to be like a Sudikin? Uh, Su... Hmm. It's been a long time since I used that title. Suikoden? Game where we collect 108 stars? I think 108 might be excessive, but... Recruiting, like, five or six more people might be fun. So this is supposed to be a former pirate isle, huh? Little sunlight, damp walls, and a chill draft. I don't like this place. You only catch rheumatism here. It's not like we're here for a vacation. How much are we paying you, Bethras? So I've arranged everything with Tormund. The last of the paperwork is done. Paperwork? We are now registered as an official adventurer's clan. Here are our clan crests. What's a clan? Outside of Alandes, adventurers organize themselves into so-called clans. There's a tradition, it is a tradition that is slowly establishing itself here as well. As a clan, we have a permission to fly armed around Volandis, at least to a certain degree. Correct, my dear Bathrods. We are now registered as a clan called the Crimson Wings, and our leader is Glenn. What? You've got to be kidding me. Have you ever heard me joke? Well, you probably have. Don't worry about it, it's just a name on a piece of paper. Why did you do that? I don't possess any leadership qualities, nor do I have any charisma at all. Indeed, but even without those, you're the best recruiter for new allies in our lines. The game maker said so. As the best Sky Armor pilot, you're probably the most capable fighter in the whole country. And you can certainly impress some people with that. Do you really believe that? Ah, in the end, we'll make the decisions together. Let's take care of Princess Amalia first. Our contact is waiting for us in Basel. He'll bring us to her Maj her highness. Why do they keep switching between majesty and highness? All right, let's set up camp here and leave afterwards. Sir Victor, do you have a moment? Sure. Tell me, what's the real reason? What do you mean? You wanted my help to travel to the Kildred Monastery. You searched for me all over Volandis to fight against the Grimoire. And now you choose me as your leader. Why all this? There's no reason, Glenn. Please tell me the truth. There is a reason. You wear two amulets around your neck. They're life anchors, aren't they? 
Jewel in the amulet is connected to the soul of a person and glows when you approach them. It can be used as a compass. And one of the amulets always shines in my presence. Probably how you found me in Flanderundulin. Why do you possess such a thing? Where do you get this knowledge, hmm? Well, you're right. But sorry, Glenn, I can't tell you more than I already have. I'm under an oath, and... It's also best for your... Oh, wow, he's got a deep voice. I want to try that again. I'm under oath, and... It's also best for your health. It's about the kind of answer I was expecting. I can promise you, though, that you'll definitely get your answers. Until then, we should just stay alive. <laughs> I can probably ask all I want, and you'll keep quiet. So, fine. I won't ask any more questions. Thanks, Glenn. But for now, let's unpack our stuff and move on to Basil. World map and clan. You're now a licensed clan, which allows you to travel through Volandis Armed. With your airship, you can travel across the world map to find new locations or visit previous areas. You can call your airship from an, any outdoor environment, if the story allows it, by pressing the back button, which I don't know what that is. Uh, select. Around the world, there are people who'd love to join your clan. Find them and invite them to Hermit's Isle. Some of them have certain abilities that can contribute to the party. Sometimes you will get a notification that new side quests are available. You can view those starting point each quest by checking the world map. Okay. You can do it by flying as well. Great. Fantastic. All right. We are going to end the episode here. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. Until next time, stay safe and God bless you.